Well, we gotta talk about the whole gaming, streaming rules, and what's really need to happen for. <laughs> There, I've got movement. So, for the past few months, I've started doing gaming streams, gaming broadcast on my channel, and I basically am doing it for you guys. And it also helps out my cousins. Well, not my well, well my cousin Andrew, because I don't, because Nick rarely, rarely, and I mean rarely, ever plays with me. Most person who plays with me is Andrew, because Andrew doesn't constantly go on the mic though. Blah, 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 blah. So that's why um that's why I want to um share with you guys about some rules about scanning streams. So number one, we're gonna talk about what's the purpose of the gaming streams and what are they for? The gaming streams are for you, your guys' content. For you guys to watch me play games. That's what it is. You not to have a conversation with me, not blow up the chat room, because over the past week or so, I have been getting about three people who are commenting on my um, streams, and I don't know who they are, and I don't know if it's a, um, if they're a bot, or if they're real, so bear with me on that, but they're for you guys to watch, and they also help out Andrew and Connor whenever, and Connor's not my cousin, um, he's my cousin's friend, and my friend as well. And so when me and Connor and Andrew, when we're playing GTA or we're playing Mob Warfare, they need to see what's going on on the screen. So that's what it is. We'll be on that more in a minute. Number two, what should I comment about? So there was this um, person who was commenting on my stream that I did. It was both GTA and Destiny 2 and this person kept commenting left to right on everything and basically saying oh I can hear you in the chat I'm like yeah you can hear everything that's going in the chat of course you can hear everything that's going on in the chat because you know It's on a party, okay? When Andrew sends me an invite on PlayStation, it comes up on my notifications, I hit join, and now I can hear Andrew talking. As soon as that happens, anybody that's watching the streams will be able to hear it. And I cannot respond to those that are commenting on my stream if Connor's talking, because, I mean, that's just overlapping. It's not really going to help any deal. So, we need to figure out what we need to do. Because, of course, you can hear everything. But this person just kept commenting so much. And it's all for distraction. And it's like, dude, come on. Now, another thing is, is that Talking, like commenting on the game itself. So like when you say, oh, good job on that. Good job. Oh, oh, that's cool or whatever. You know, comment on the game. Don't comment about you coming back. Because there's a there was this person that has, you know, supposedly a gaming channel. And they, they and they best kept blowing it up when it's not even necessary. You know, saying, 
Oh, I'm back. I'm like, I could give two craps whether you're back or not. I can't even tell who's even on there. All that comes up is of it says one person watching. And that's what kind of gets annoying. Because, you know, you don't need to comment about that. That's why I'm that's why for a short, that's why for, for for a couple few streams in the past, I disabled to where I cannot see it. Now I have to be able to see it if I'm talking to Andrew. So, you guys need to chill with that stuff. Chill with commenting, okay? Unless you're commenting about the game, you should not be commenting because there was someone. What was it? last night or um or it was uh yeah last night when i was streaming andrew was on the stream well he was like in the watching the video and there was someone that says hi exclamation point hello question mark all you do is just say hi and respond to the game that's all you have to do Okay, this is not to have a conversation on. I'm not going to play my game and give commentary on a conversation. No, you watch the game, you respond to it. You respond to what's going on. That's simple. Do you play that game? It's that simple. Unless I'm talking to Andrew, because Andrew is a big time viewer of mine who watches the content who actually gives a crap about the content and who actually watches the content okay this is why we're having issues with this the whole gaming stream because anyone you could anyone on youtube can just see it because it tags the game and it tags and i'm live And there are people who literally, I don't know, who are literally sending me quests, sending me requests on PSN that I don't even know. You know what I mean? I mean, it's not like how it is on social media where you're one of the best followers on PlayStation. You, you, you can, you know, you could care less about, who's you, about how many friends you got on PlayStation. Which is why it is kind of a bit of an issue because everybody likes to comment on that. That's what everybody likes to do. They like to comment on the videos. And that's what they do. But it's like as soon as I go live, somebody watches it. Like as soon as I go live, somebody watches it. Which is why I believe that these people could be bots. So let me talk about why do I think that that. The reason why I think that people could be bots is that, like, it's kind of weird. Now, I'm not going to try to, you know, make a analogy or, you know, be negative in any way. But what's weird is, is that I have a viewer from the Philippines that's a little younger than maturity level watching the content but is intelligent who's from the Philippines Asian Filipino then someone else that has the last name as a gaming is also Asian so I'm like are they affiliated with other or could this be some kind of scam now I'm not trying to say that, that you know that that's has anything to do with it. Is that people have their name, and they put gaming at the end of it. Seriously, that's all it says. Like let's say Andrew Gaming. That's the kind of sh crap that pops up on on this thing up there. 
That's what pops up. Now, yes, my name is not like that, which means there could be some sort of hacker or whatever. I don't really know. But what's weird is that these people are commenting like crazy. And even Andrew's asking me, Oh, Tristan, why are these people commenting on, on your stream? I'm like, I don't know. I'm just going to block it. Because, I mean, I don't have a problem with commenting, but the thing is, is that you need to keep the, the, the chat room clear unless you're commenting on a on the game. Okay? The one kid from the Philippines, which is way younger than my viewership, that, sh that shouldn't be moderated. I, I need to do that to where it will let me keep kids out from my streams because it's not always appropriate. I mean, I had to delete one of my streams because we were at the strip club at in GTA. And that was highly inappropriate. So I deleted that, deleted that stream before it was able to get processed. Now also the language, okay? Language from me, language from Andrew, language from Connor, language from Brian, language from Jettison, language from the drunk Isaac. And yes, let's talk about the drunk Isaac and why people need to be aware. So you guys might have known about the whole drunk Isaac thing. Where, you know, one of, a, one of my cousin's friends was drunk, supposedly, and started being loud, obnoxious, and annoying, and being really offensive, and literally having all this aggression. Basically being an angry drunk, I would say. An angry, silly, stupid drunk. Who's 15 years old. My cousin's 15, and so was the rest of his friends. But they're highly intelligent. <laughs> okay. The thing is, is that you need to realize that this is not a channel specifically in those gaming streams for kids. I mean, I used to play... Fortnite with Andrew. Now, Andrew stopped playing Fortnite because that's stupid. And he's like, I didn't like that game. I'm not going to play, play my, my Fortnite anymore. Another thing is, is that there's language in the thing. Language from everybody. Especially the drunk Isaac that one time. That one was a very inappropriate video. And yes, I know I made a video about that talking about it. And the reason why is because I want to show people about what happens when someone acts like that. And what you should know about it. And so that's why I want to post it because I'm like, dude, you know, you act stupid when there's someone that's recording you and you're literally going to act that way. Okay? Now, of course, Andrew was like, yeah, it happens. Because Andrew's a very laid back person, okay? Andrew is not like me and enforce rules and you know, you know, if, if Andrew was a teacher, he'd probably just sit there and go, yeah, class, do whatever the beep you want. Yeah, class. Let me hit it, let me click my chair. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that my cousin does. That's, that's how my cousin is. That's why my cousin doesn't, you know, my cousin doesn't have a, doesn't do anything about stuff like that. He just takes things and just keep on going. No, yes, but I was thinking about doing Twitch. The problem with Twitch is that there has been some glitches on it lately where 
you get in a black screen. I don't know if that's realistically the case. But if that, if but if Twitch is actually going to be a new thing, which means I'm going to have to rebrand my channel and have everybody turned over to Twitch. Because with Twitch, at least you have some some things you can change. Now, the problem with Twitch is that I can't get into my Twitch account. I can't get into my Twitch account. Twitch is so messed up, I can't even create a new account. I can't even do any of that. That's how messed up Twitch is. And there's not much viewership on Twitch, but a you know, really good Twitch streamer would really get a lot of content. Like poo, like PewDiePie. That's what I used to call poo die pie. Poo die pie. Poo die pie. So which is why I'm just saying, this is the new thing that we're going to be doing. When... On it. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be doing Twitch or not, but it will most likely still be the streams. Okay? But keep in mind that the chat room is not to have a conversation in it except your Andrew, because Andrew needs to, like, correlate on the game, so he may not be able to join a party, may not be able to FaceTime me, so he has to do that through his account. Which, yes, my cousin does have a channel. Uh, it's Andrew Sof. It's Andrew S O F F E. Uh, apparently, just made a soccer video. Didn't really make that big of a video, but yeah, they're just like, yeah. But yeah, that's yeah, that's kind of how my cousin does things. But yeah, so that's kind of how it is because Andrew is trying his best to get this to work. Okay, and when I'm in a party with Andrew, I won't be able to talk to those people that are commenting all over my stream because, you know, Connor's talking and Andrew's talking. It's going to all overlap and that cannot happen. And of course, you can hear everything in the party because it's a public party. They can hear it. Even drunk Isaac could still be heard in the party, could still be heard in the broadcast. Because, yes, you can hear him. I recorded his voice. Recorded his voice. The whole time. But, yeah. After that, I've not ever heard from that, from, from that drunk Isaac. You know? But, hey. Let's talk about what happened to Modern Warfare. Oh, I know a lot of you guys were like, Damn, he played Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare. Mom Warfare. I look too fat in the face. Anyway, you're probably wondering, well, what has happened to Mom Warfare? What's changed? What has happened to Mom Warfare? Mom Warfare is not changed at all. What's happened to Mom Warfare is that I've run out of space on my PlayStation to play it. However, however, if I do am able to get Mon Warfare back online and we're able to play it, then we'll be able to play the game for Mon Warfare. So that way we can play with Andrew and Connor again and we don't have to be confined to GTA. I mean, we're probably going to be on a schedule for that. So like one night we'll play... Mom Warfare, then that night we'll play GTA. I mean, it's up. It's entirely up to Connor and Andrew. Well, mostly Andrew. Well, I mean, Connor doesn't always play with us every night. So then some nights it'll be Andrew, some nights it'll be Connor. It just depends. Now, what's also good about GTA is that I don't have to wait for Andrew to invite me because I'm like, Andrew, invite me. Andrew, invite me. Andrew, invite me. Andrew, invite me. That's how it pretty much is. And he's like, uh, uh. Uh, uh. Yeah, that's that's how my cousin is. He's not a quick person, you know. Because if Andrew was, cause if Andrew was trying to move really quickly, I don't think they can move fast. But like, yeah, just imagine Andrew being fat. I don't, I don't know how Andrew would be able to do that. But yeah, Andrew's not that quick, as you know. 
Because, you know, because one time Andrew went up to this guy, went up right behind this guy, and uh, and the guy backed into Andrew. And the guy didn't even know Andrew was even there. No, that didn't really happen. But yeah, I'm telling you guys, the chat room is not made to have a conversation. Unless you're Andrew. Okay, I'm not going to express it. If anyone, you can say hi, but that's it. Talk about the game. Don't sit there and have a conversation about everything, okay? That's what you need to do. Because I'm really getting sick and tired of all these bots that keep having, like, Tristan Gaming or Andrew Gaming. No, Andrew doesn't, no, Andrew, Andrew doesn't do that. This pisses me off. Because I only have to go find your channel, look on your name, and make sure that you're a real person. If you have videos, if you have subscribers, that will determine whether or not you're going to get blocked. And I have 19 subscribers. And I've not lost one. Which I don't even know who's even subscribing. Because <laughs> a big chunk of my content is... For that, and, and and another, it's the biking. Another, it's the videos like this. But yeah, all I'm trying to say is, is that it's for gaming, not to have a conversation in it. Andrew, however, can do that since he may not be able to get into a party. I may not get in that because I talked to my cousin. My cousin has very interesting reactions. Very interesting reactions. Okay, so let's talk about. What should I do when I'm watching the streams? Watch it. Comment on the video. Comment on the situation in the game, and then you and then you're done. But the kid from the Philippines was just running his mouth about everything. Chill out. So now. What, what age, what should you be aware of when watching the streams? Understand that when I'm playing a game, okay, and it's not an appropriate game. Games like GTA, or I'm in a party with Andrew's friends and Andrew. There's a lot of inappropriate stuff that goes on. What did I call it? The mid-teen talk show? Because, yeah, like, they're 15. They're in the middle of their teens. 15. And my cousin's 15, and, and he and he's allowed to watch... You know, he he's allowed to deal with that language. Although, not 100%. But, yeah, you know, that's the whole dealio with Andrew, and that's the whole dealio with what is going on. Now, tonight... And we'll be talking about it. So anyway guys. That's pretty much it. About the whole gaming streams. I'm going to go and get this thing done up. Get submitted. And then. Um, and I'll be done. Alright. See ya.